Hello friends, in the previous video we saw that due to which reasons Jainism and Buddhism originated and in today's video we will talk about Jainism in detail. The followers of Jainism are called Jainas and Jainas believe that Mahavir is their most important religious teacher. In Jainism, religious teacher is called Tirthankar. Tirthankar is basically a teacher who leads people on the path of service, that is salvation. Mahavir is the 24th Tirthankar. This means that even before Mahavir, 23 Tirthankars had lived in Jainism. Out of total 24 Tirthankars, the first Tirthankar was Rishabhnath and the last Tirthankar, that is 24th Tirthankar, was Mahavir. And here, apart from these two Tirthankars, we should also know about some other Tirthankars, such as the second Tirthankar, Ajit, 22nd Tirthankar, Nemi, and 23rd Tirthankar, that is the Tirthankar before Mahavir, was Parshvanath. Rishabhnath, Ajit, and Nemi, the names of these three Tirthankars are also found in Yajurved. Now, in this list of three Tirthankars, that is Rishabhnath, Parshvanath, and Mahavir, we should know about the place of their birth. Rishabhnath is associated with Ayodhya. Parshvanath is associated with Banaras. And he used to belong to a royal family. But he chose ascetic life by abandoning the royal life. And in today's date, whatever earliest information we get about the teaching of Jainism is given by him. Apart from this, if we talk about Mahavir, then Mahavir was born in Kundagram. Kundagram is near Vaishali, a district of northern Bihar. Now let us know some more important details about Mahavir's life. Mahavir was born in 540 BC and was named Vardhaman at the time of his birth. His father's name was Siddharth, who used to be the head of Janatrika clan. Janatrika was basically a Kshatriya clan. Vardhaman's mother's name was Trishla. Trishla was the sister of chief of Lichwi clan, Chetak and this Lichwi clan used to rule in Mithila. At that time, some parts of Bihar and Nepal were called Mithila. So the daughter of Chetak was married to Bimbisara. Bimbisara was the king of Magad and he was that king of Magad who started expanding Magad very fast. From this whole discussion, you can understand that Mahavir's family had relations with the royal family of Magad as well. See, the thing is that the chiefs of Lichavi and Janatrika clans were basically the chiefs of Gan. That is, they were basically the chiefs of a clan. They were not kings. Their status can be considered very low in front of the king of Magad. So that's why it is necessary to establish this relation here that Vardhaman's family had relation with royal family as well. So let's look ahead about the life of Prince Vardhaman. 510 BC this was the year when Prince Vardhaman left the royal life and chose ascetic life. At that time, he was 30 years old. Before that, he was married and his wife's name was Yashoda. And from this marriage, he also had a daughter named Anja. So after choosing the life of an ascetic in 510 BC, he followed meditation and rigorous fasting for almost 12 years, keeping himself in solitude. And in these 12 years, facing many discomforts, he ultimately attained the stage of enlightenment. And in Jainism, this stage of enlightenment is called Kavalya. Kavalya means perfect knowledge, ultimate truth, or we can also call it pure knowledge. This Kavalya was attained by him while meditating under the Sal tree in meditation postures. After attaining Kavalya, many of his followers went on increasing and his followers were called Nirganthis. Nirganthis means those people who have conquered all kinds of bond, that is, those who are not trapped by any kind of attachment. And later, these people came to be known as Janas. We also call them Jans. And after attaining Kavalya, Prince Vardhaman was also known as Mahavir. Apart from this, Mahavir was also known by many other names, like Jitendriya and Nirgranth. Nirgranth means one who has conquered all bonds and Jitendriya means one who has conquered his senses. Apart from this, he was also called Jina, J-I-N-A, that is conqueror. So after attaining Kavalya, he propagated Jainism for almost 30 years. 
Jainism became very popular in no time and the reason for Jainism becoming very popular at that time was also that Mahavir himself was a Kshatriya and at one time he had relations with royal family so many kings and clans gave him patronage propagating Jainism for 30 years he died in 468 BC at the age of 72 years now here we should know about some important places related to Mahavir's life So we have already seen that he was born in 540 BC in Kundagram which is near Vaishali district and in today's northern Bihar also he had attained Kavalya in 498 BC and this place was Jhimbika Gram which is located on the banks of Riju Palika river and in today's Jharkhand he died in Pavapuri which is in modern Rajgir Bihar So in today's video we have understood all Tirthankars and the life of Mahavir. In the next video we will talk about teachings, principles and spread of Jainism. You can download PDF of all videos of ancient history from Bookstava app. To understand Indian history and Indian polity in detail, do follow Bookstava playlist. Link is given in the description box. Thank you for watching Bookstava.